I don't think I can do it. No, no. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm over. I'm overcome with anxiety. I can't even. I can't even do this video presentation for you. Check this out, man. I'm a watch obsessive, and I was on the internet <clears throat> looking at watches the other day. Excuse me. I'm very nervous. Uh, I'm overcome with anxiety. So <clears throat> I was looking at the fall releases for uh, Citizen Watches. And uh, there's this watch that I was reading about that's due this fall. And it's called the Citizen Pro Master Tough. And I was reading a description of it. And, oh my gosh, it looked like the ultimate watch for me, personally. It looked like my exit watch. Let me read you the description, and I'll put the model number below. The Citizen Pro Master Tough. Before I go on, when you call a watch tough, I get excited, all right? Uh, here's the description on the uh, Citizen website. Test the extremes of the brand new Citizen Promaster Tough series. Living up to its name, the timepiece features a monocoque case. I get excited when you start talking about monocoque cases. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's two-piece construction resulting in no case back. I'm getting too excited. I'm so anxious right now, I can't even make this video. Alright, let's go on. This monocoque case results in extreme rigidity, shock resistance, and anti-magnetism. Super titanium coating on a stainless steel case and bracelet allows for anti-rust, scratch resistance, hypoallergenic, and, I'm getting excited now, five times harder than stainless steel. I can't go on. I can't do this video. Other features include, as if I couldn't go on already, ISO compliancy, uh, anti-reflective sapphire crystal. Someone revive me. I'm like Mr. Mooney, the banker on Beverly Hillbillies who needs to be uh, revived by uh, putting money in his face. Uh, super Luminova hands and markers and an ability to function in extreme temperatures featuring our echo drive technology powered by a light never needs a battery caliber number uh, E168 so I'm already anxious just reading about my ultimate exit watch and now I discover it's already for sale it's on eBay and here's my problem it's too cheap it's too cheap it's only $350 on eBay I don't know if I can buy an a exit watch that's that cheap. If it was $1,000, I would have bought it already. It's 42 millimeters. It, it looks good. Uh, you'll have to look at it. Uh, but it's just too cheap. And uh, I don't know. Can, can you buy an exit watch? It's $350. I don't know. I don't know if I can go on like this. And I just I feel badly for sharing this with you because some of you are going to share my anxiety. I might, I might have ruined your life by telling you about this watch. And uh, by the way, I can't even talk about an exit watch without a, ma it, to me an exit watch is more than just an exit watch. It's like you're retiring from life. It's like if I get an exit watch, I'm selling my house, I'm buying a condo on a golf course, I'm getting a Hawaiian shirt, I'm gonna do weekly tanning sessions in a tanning booth, I'm gonna get pedicures, I'm gonna get uh, Brazilian wax, yeah, man, exit watch, that's crazy. I just, I can't deal with the anxiety of knowing about this watch. I don't know if I can buy it, man, because it's too cheap. There, there's, there's, I'm suspicious. How could a watch that amazing be 350 on eBay? No, I, I just can't do it. And uh, if I infect you with anxiety, then I guess I did my job as a fellow watch obsessive because this uh, video presentation is a, a viewer request. A viewer wanted me to do a video on the ways we enable other watch obsessives through social media. And the first way is, is we, uh, we infect each other with FOMO, the fear of missing out, the anxiety. There's a new watch! There's a new Citizen Promaster Tough! And we just, the anxiety kills us. 
and then it, it inflames our uh, watch addiction. And I'm not lying to you. I'm I'm very intrigued by this uh, by this uh, tough Promaster tough. But man, can you imagine, you guys? Hey, McMahon, how's your exit watch doing? I flipped it. What? You fl it was your exit? I flipped it, man. What's your new exit watch? I don't know. It changes every day, dude. So, anyways, I don't know if I'm gonna. Oh, I can't do with the anxiety of it. So. Uh, the first thing that happens is we infect each other with FOMO. The second thing that happens is I think we create artificial watch desires that don't exist because we're just excited from the friendship. We're, we're providing a certain friendship connection. I don't think we need to confuse the friendship connection with the need to buy watches. You don't need to uh, communicate with fellow watch obsessives and validate your communication by buying watches. You can just be a window shopper. Window shopping is the funnest part of it anyway. We don't actually like to acquire the watch. We like the hunt, don't we? We're hunters. We're foragers. So don't, don't confuse the bond, the, the communication, the friendships you make on social media with the need to buy a watch. Uh, the third thing is, I think what happens is some of us don't have the desire or the financial means to buy some of these big holy grail watches and so we live vicariously through others and we encourage them to buy these watches we're, we're projecting our own desires to them and I don't think that's healthy that's an enabling uh, trait uh, we should be more honest about that and that relates to the fourth uh, way we enable uh, other people the fourth thing we do is um, I think we get really excited about a, a brand, it becomes our, our identity, and then we want to be validated by watching other people get that brand, and I think what happens with these other people is that they end up buying watches not because they really want them, but because they need other people's approval. I think that's unhealthy. And uh, the fifth, the fifth way we enable each other, I think when you're on social media with other watch obsessives, you just have too many voices in your head and you don't know what you want anymore. You don't know what watch you want. You got too many voices going on. You don't even know your own name. You don't even know your name. By the way, I can't even make this video because I'm thinking about the Citizen Pro Master Tough. I think I'm gonna go buy it right now before you get it. Yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna go to the golf course now. I gotta, gotta get my Hawaiian shirt. All right, I'm out.